Good morning, campers. So let Sarah B. <laughs> is back out eventually. Now, the weather is a little bit spicy today. That's the only word that I've got for it. And I'm not camping. I spied my tripod in my bedroom and thought, you know what? You're coming with me. <laughs> I've got a few different uh, objectives for today. <laughs> Get out of the house, cause seriously, this two pain fiasco has been really getting me down. Miserable, not the usual self, happy self that I am. So, I had root canal follow up treatment again yesterday. It's feeling okay today. I've got everything crossed. Please cross everything for me. It's uh, been a bit of a journey. It's a bigger tooth this time. I've had it once before. Anyway, I'll spare you details. At the end of the day, I'm back out again and I've just come for a wonder. My objectives, get out on the moors, get to Pat's place, check in, logbook, get muddy, <laughs> get muddy. Um, stretch my legs after half marathon I tell you something the muscle pain that I had yesterday was nothing compared to the toothache that I had yesterday I think I was the first person to phone dentist bang on nine o'clock straight in but I had to wait all day for my appointment ice packs codeine I am so glad I'm not at work so I've got myself off with my little bag, I'm a treat you <laughs> to a little walk in the bleakness of today. I brought my stove. I wanted to play with my stove. <laughs> I've brought a tent. I've brought my helm, Helm Compact One. Because have you ever been on a hike? And you've thought, blimey, that weather's coming in. Better get some shelter. There's no shelter. So I thought, come, stretch my lungs and my legs. Put my little tent up. Have a little cuppa. And a nice chinwag with you. <laughs> about life events. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to just getting back out. <laughs> so I haven't planned a camp because... I needed to see how this were. There's no point being miserable and in pain in a tent. You've just got to take what life throws at you sometimes. When life gives you lemons. <laughs> You've just got to do it. Deal with it. And move on. And I wanted to dedicate this video to all of those beautiful people that subscribe to my channel that don't camp, that don't get out, can't get out for whatever reason, car troubles, mobility issues, not being able to access such a gorgeous landscape from the front door like I can. This is dedicated to you because I know what it's like to not be able to do what you want to do. And the pleasure that you get out of watching other people do it, talk about it, laugh about it, mess about, in it that makes you smile doesn't it so here we are a little dose of the peak district and pat's place it was sunny when i set off and cloud soon moved in weather's uh, turning for best not so <laughs> I've packed all my stuff in this tiny little bag. Look at that, tiny bag, 20 litre sack. No home comforts, just a stove and a tent and a sit mat. But at least I can get out of wind because up there, up there on top of that moorland, it's a little bit exposed. So you see me do this walk loads of times. 
it's always a wind tunnel here, so I'm going to switch you off and I'll bring you back when there's some more bog to see. <laughs> this could all end really badly. <laughs> Someone has put a piece of wood just to help you step over. So, if you come into Pat's place, there used to be a bridge there. I called it the Broken Bridge. It's no longer the Broken Bridge. It is the Disintegrated Bridge. And then you're literally just bug trotting across all of it. <laughs> so it's pretty bad. But yeah, it is literally a bog because this is a brook that runs down here. Ah. And now I've got to come back over and get me food. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, <clears throat> well, boggy bit. It's a boggy bit, that. And we're in a bit of a ditch, so it's not going to be windy, but as soon as I go up at top, it'll blow my head off. Because it's blowing straight over from Stanage. And, yeah, weather's proper turned now. Oh, gosh. Look at that. There's lots of new grass growing through, though. It's one good thing about it. If you keep hiking to the same places throughout all the seasons, you get to see it change. Here it comes, the wind. <clears throat> and up we go to the top. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, there's a duck. <laughs> what surprises. Ooh, the gate. Remember when I brought all my boys through here, but not today. They can stay at home because they don't like getting wet. See over into the Chef Sheffield's there. So there's a right deluge coming over the Peak District soon. So I thought, yeah, let's get out and make a video <laughs> on mobile phone. The microphone that's not waterproof. Hence, Harry Helm. Harry Helm will save the day. You watch him. I bet it's going to bang it down when I go up there. <sighs> Just feels so good to get out. And you'll hear a lot of us say that, you know, when we're hiking. So it's so good to get out. We're not just saying it. We mean it. And you know, years gone by, I think I'd have been scared to be out here, but now it just feels so freeing. Like, I can't wait to escape. As soon as I start driving out, I just feel so calm. It can be blowing an absolute hoolie and banging, banging it down, but you feel so calm inside. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal, but it's my normal. It's my normal. I think that's probably why you see so many Instagram posts up on mountains and humans just sort of reclaiming their habitat, escaping the um, ooh, high. <laughs> They literally come out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, mates. I know you're my friends, but I'm sorry I scared you. <laughs> they were so close to me then. Grass. Beautiful birds. Uh, so I just thought, do a bit of walking and talking, see what comes out of my box. <laughs> As I'm walking, I can feel the cold rain on my face and squelch in of my boots. And the, the birds are just flying in all different directions. It's so rich. This landscape's so rich. Full of water. Whoa. Not got my gaiters on, so there's only so much you can do, boots, to keep me dry. So Hello, a big shout out to Sadie. She came up at the weekend with her family. We've been chatting on YouTube comments 
it's always so nice to feel connected to somebody that you've never met before. So hi Sadie, I'm going to, coming up to read your entry in Pat's, in Pat's book. So, and should I say Twiggy's book? <laughs> Pat, you've already had it named after you, so don't be cheeky. You're not having it all. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I dare say, if I'd have been running with a tent on my back down Ecclesall Road, you might have noticed me the other day. Hmm, maybe that's something for next year. <laughs> How funny would that be? I could raise money for a mountain rescue or something, and maybe when I get to Ringing Low, I could just fly down like a parachute with a Hilliberg solo on my back. Hilarious, if you like that kind of thing. I <laughs> See, I'm just making my own entertainment, talking to my phone. No one's behind me, we're all right. I don't look like a psycho. <laughs> Work's been busy. Night shifts, day shifts. Busy, busy midwife. Love it. Exhausting, especially when you've got ailments as you get older, but also selling houses. Never done it before. First time buyer in our current home. Oh, look at you, you sexy beast. Not grass. It's not your lucky day today. Uh, Stanage. Higger, my two favourites. Um, selling houses. I'll wait until we get to tent to talk about that because wind noise is not going to be too great. Oh, rain's coming over. Mr. Grouse Butt is here. This is a bog trotting land and I'm going to get to Pat's place and I'll see you in a minute. This is really, really I'm going to just do this little bit without her. Give me a <laughs> This is definitely um, not. <laughs> what are you doing, tripod? Stop that. Hang on. challenge after not putting the helm up for a while but there he is solid as a rock at Pat's place so what I'll do is I'll put my tripod here and see if it stays just for a minute while I open up the doors and stuff Keep 
forgetting to press record. I've got you inside tent, as you can see. He's flapping about on that side. But I'm doing my best. I am not a professional YouTuber. <laughs> my son's been borrowing this. He's been taking it out with his mate. And you had me able to influence him in some way. My speedster still. Yeah, I say to him, do you know how to use it? Don't lose the pin. Don't lose the pin out of it. This pin. Can't be losing that, otherwise. It won't all fix together and it's... He's made it a bit dirty though. I'll be having him. But you might be thinking it's a little bit overkill, isn't it? To bring a tent out in daytime. I mean, what time is it? It's about 11 o'clock. And don't have elevens is on the moor. That's what I'm doing. Speedster, thank you. You beautiful company. He even put cling film on there and said, Mom, it leaks. Said, oh, it's never leaked on me. Why is it leaking on you? And I said to him, I have got a fine maple, you know, it boils water in about a minute, a minute and a half. A minute and a half. Oh no, Mum, I like the quiet boil of the uh, speedster stove. It's my son. <laughs> they make you laugh, don't they? I'm in an absolute banger out there. <laughs> as you could see from my earlier footage, it is not as easy to put up in windy conditions. There is a better way to do it, I'm sure. But when you're negotiating the, the lie of the land, the direction of the wind, and it's all happening at the same time, you have to think quickly on your feet, which doesn't always mean you get the best pitch, but actually, I'd be happy to stay here for the whole night. So, a little bit of experience goes a long way. <laughs> and I wouldn't call myself a professional, but I remember that night when I camped out on Kinder and I just walked until the sun went down. I think it were August and I slept in this tent and I didn't have any idea where I was going to pitch but I saw the lie of the land, I knew the size of the pitch, put it out, best night's sleep ever and I was pretty new to it then so I felt like I accomplished something that night. I have brought my milk in a breast milk storage bottle that I got free from a conference. Anything goes. And got a low sugar and sugar brownish. Cinnamon blondy thing. And eat it gingerly on the left hand side of my mouth. This is what camping looks like. Camping, not camping. Get the most out of your tea, tea time stop. Nice view. Sheltered. Look. Still, um, still cold. See me breath? My hands are freezing. I'm going to put my pups on. Really comfortable one man tent. If you are less than six foot tall, I'd say. Otherwise, it's a bit of a squeeze. It's the only thing, so I'm quite small. Just me. It's so windy out there. Oh, my microphone's not working. Can't put you outside, so just having to chill in here. It's not a bad thing, though. All it is is um, moorland. The heather's just hanging about all over the place. Good breath. 
You don't mind waiting for a kettle to boil when you've got your home city to stare at and the smell of your hot stove and banging of the wind on your head from your tent with the cloud formations to look at. little different angle 17th of November first entry from Twiggy so we've got Twiggy and me and Pat Gareth Dave Paul me again, <laughs> grumpy person. Mark, Mr. Jiggs, Chris, Dan. Hey up, Dan. Dan the trig man. <laughs> Claire and Neil. Mick again. Hey up, Twiggy. Hopefully this will warm my cockles up a bit while I read my book, write my entry. It's raining again. <gasps> it's just spilt milk. Don't cry over spilt milk, Sarah. It's not worth it. Simple things, eh? Cup of Yorkshire tea up on more. Some more's coming over, it's gonna batter it down. Oh, what a treat! Yeah, I don't think there'll be many people out today. Not while it's all proper chucking it down outside. Weren't many cars parked up on Ringing Low Road. Mm. <laughs> Back again, Simone and Laura. Ah, oh, it's Mark's message. Trick of the trail. I watched that camp. You had some nice times up here as well, didn't you, in that horrible weather? <laughs> Just a bit similar to this, actually. <laughs> Probably gusting about 30 mile an hour winds. Ah. The massive legend. Dickinson. <laughs> Shout out to Twiggy. Yeah, I agree. Stanage is a busy place now. I try and avoid it like the plague if I'm honest. <laughs> ah, hi Dave. That's lovely. Thank you so much for writing that and thank you for your message. Great bloke, Dave. Back again. <laughs> hey, up, Scott. Hmm. I think I might know that's been made by. It's so special, James. Absolutely beautiful. I think I need to show that. I hope you don't mind. But he's an artist. How beautiful is that? You captured that beautifully. Thanks, Mr. Jiggs. There's like a little gift that does. Pencil. Now I know all about posh pencils as an artist myself. <laughs> Hi Warren. <laughs> I watch your channel too. Watched you for a while too. 
Legend. <laughs> this is a long message. I do honestly get so much fun. But when it's absolutely disgusting outside of that place, just come and chill in your tent and read the, read the book. Hope you're all well. <laughs> ah, Easter Saturday. What was I doing? Was I working? Yeah, I think I was working. I always feel a great privilege as well to be here. Right, it is a pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. Oh, so beautiful! So beautiful. Look at all these words. Look at all these wonderful words. <laughs> Five. What a beautiful message. Thank you. Thanks for leaving that so I could read it. And everyone else. Callum. You've got nice writing, Callum. <laughs> Not that everyone else hasn't. <laughs> oh, sunrise. Yeah. Even then it was cold. tell you what, it's a right special place up here when there's no wind and the birds are out and you're just watching the sunrise. Absolutely fantastic. There's nothing gonna happen like that to say, look at this and it's like, whoa! <laughs> it's so nice to come and look at it and feel for it and then come back again. Completely agree. And now Sadie. Hi Sadie. <laughs> Sadie was the last person to, to come over this way. Wow, you've come a long way, Sadie. Sadie and Paul. so nice to see you back again so yeah I just want to just look at all this lot some really special messages in there what I really like about it is you know I'll probably never meet any of these lovely people but it's this connection to this book we've all touched it we've all seen what's outside we've had our own camping experiences and when Andy was thinking about it and Twiggy put it here and it's just connected us all together and whenever you're feeling sad if you're lucky enough to be able to live as close as I do get yourself up here do your sketching your painting come and have a brew in your tent like me when you're recovering from root canal treatment or you're feeling rubbish from life events it always it lifts you up there's something special about it it's a recharging station even on a day like today so i'll write my message in there shortly i'm just gonna enjoy the sound of the rain on the tent Enjoy my hot cup of tea and reflect on what I've just read before I write my own. At least I'm not in absolute tears this time. <laughs> it's just a testament to how, um, how special it is and how emotional it can be when you feel that connection with other people that love it so much. And you know what? I've been up here loads of times and not made a video. You don't have to record everything that you do in your life or put it out on social media. I'm far from it, you know. I'm, as you guys know, I've been away from it for, for weeks. Life goes on. Even if you have to take a break from YouTube, you know that the people that enjoy watching you will be waiting there for you. A little bit like the hills themselves. 
the camp spots themselves, they're always going to be there. You just have to make it fit to what you want. Otherwise, what's the point? I think it, to a certain degree, it's quite tough when you decide to make videos and put them out. Because you are exposing yourself for all sorts. You're exposing yourself to the world, how you sound, how you act, your mannerisms, uh, your choices of words, your opinions, um, the kit you get. <laughs> you know, you're, you're open to criticism with everything. Um, not always criticism though. That's just the negative belly in me. But, you know, all of the people that are so wonderful and watch your videos and egg you on and doing different things like I don't make YouTube videos about running but the people that have supported me to reach my goal and understand the things that make me tick and make me happy like the half marathon and stuff that's been awesome so thanks and the charity walk I raised like 575 pounds for a Ashgate hospice in Chesterfield so good the thing is you don't feel like a stranger when you connect with somebody on YouTube they feel like your friends and I hope that that's how you feel about me because I can guarantee if you met me in person I would just be the same so the people that might have spied me or <laughs> come across me after a run or while I'm hiking you can know that I'm just me oh yes this tastes so nice it's awful out there absolutely awful just spin your camera around look at that that's place <laughs> that's place at its best that's Sheffield over there can you see it <laughs> through the tent doors So I vowed to come out last week, whatever weather, and I didn't because of problems with my mouth. It just won't work pushing myself through that. So I've just had to take a break, but it's, I've really missed making a video. So that's why I wanted to do it today. And I'm having to shout because I've got no microphone. Let's see if it works there. The rain is so heavy now. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna literally just stay in here and wait the storm out. I think it's the back end of Storm Kathleen. Naughty, naughty girl. Right, I'm gonna show you what it's like outside. And then I'm gonna pack up in rain because I don't think this is gonna stop. Whoa! You little beastie! Yeah, it's not nice. It's not nice at all. I just wanted to show you little Helm and how well, how well he's doing. Yeah, I don't come out in bad weather like this, but look at this. There's Harry. Oh, it's not nice. It's brilliant. It's nice and warm. There's not a breath of wind. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful weather for Harry. Harry's debut at Pat's Place. <sighs> Freezing. I want to pack up and get off. <sighs> right. <sighs> so, yeah, I don't do bad weather camping, do I? <sighs> Freezing. Get all my stuff packed up and get off and get my gloves on. Um, so I've got enough battery in a bit, I'll bring you back to say goodbye. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>